Hey guys, welcome to the shop. So today we're going to be looking at a couple new tools. I've got my dad here with me and uh, hope you guys will stick around. It's the day after Christmas and I uh, thought we would go through some tools we just got. Got my dad the ArborTech ball gouge and a grinder to throw it on. So what we're gonna do is open the box, open the ball gouge, put it together, go out under the tent and actually use it for the first time. Now, I haven't used this tool before, my dad hasn't either, so neither one of us have any real experience uh, carving with this thing, but the goal will be to see what we can do about putting a bowl, carving a bowl out of a piece of wood. So. We'll start with the grinder. This is just the Bauer 8 amp, 1100 RPM from Harbor Freight. Right now, Harbor Freight's pushing their Hercules line so you can get the Bowers for a little bit cheaper. I think they're still pretty much the same model, just a different name on them and a different color. The grinder comes with your guards and things that we don't need for the ball gouge setup. We are going to use the handle. The wrench that comes with it, we won't need either. So that's pretty much it though. This one has the trigger instead of the on and off switch. That's it. Just a quick, simple grinder. Um, the ball gouge, this is all you get in the package. You get the ball gouge attachment and a wrench. The wrench is so you can replace the cutters on it. gouges threaded on the inside you got to make sure you get a grinder that's got a 5 8 arbor on there so that's what these threads are these are 5 8 this whole thing goes together pretty easy the only thing I got to go grab quick is a crescent wrench we got a crescent wrench there's some slots cut into the tool push the stopper in here on the uh, head of the grinder as soon as I get the wrench open all the way. Be good if I go the right way. It's on there pretty tight. I don't know what side we should have this on. It spins that way, so maybe. Well, it's comfortable for you. Like that normally? Just like that. Yeah. Let's crank that on. And that's the setup. You see the silver? metal on there that's what cuts now those are replaceable through arbortech.com use this wrench to undo an allen bolt in here take that whole head right apart to replace those we're not going to monkey with that because it's all new i will see what i can find on amazon though to this grinder and this arbortech ball gouge i'll put those links below you guys shop through those links buy these items or others and you'll help support the channel so right now we're gonna go out under the tent, uh, run some electric out there, grab a piece of wood, and start using this thing. All right guys, we're outside here. Decided not to be right in the carbon tent because it's pretty tight in there. You guys have seen my videos, there's no room. So we're outside the shop. We've got a block of pine here. Dried out, so maybe three inches by about six, seven inches wide or so. Um, plan is to kind of do a concave dish out of this. And then we'll take it inside and trim it out on the bandsaw and sand it up and stuff. Just do like a little bowl. We're going to do this first. And then I think what we're going to do is try it on some hardwood and stick this piece of cherry in there. And just kind of concave a little bowl out and then maybe finish it off later. So safety glasses and gloves are on. Dad's going to go ahead and try this thing for the first time. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer and kind of film as he uses it. So... Hope you guys will stick around.
really grabby. Yeah, if you put too much pressure on it, uh, it grabs pretty good. A lot yeah, of pressure. That's why I'm just going slow. Yeah, yeah. Better off just going slow with it. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering if it felt like it wants to yank out of your hands or not really. No, it wants to dig in. It wants to dig in. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you got a good grip on it, I would say take it easy coming up to your lines. So as you can see, kicked it in high speed here, and we got this thing carved out. Here, I'll hold, I'll hold this for a minute. <clears throat> I don't know, I think we've been cutting on this for 10 minutes, maybe, 10, 15 at most. About two inches at the deepest point, I'd say. Dad run around, started carving those edges. Maybe we'll finish it up like that, or we'll take it in and just round them on the bandsaw and sand them up and stuff, but that uh, ball gouge does pretty neat job kind of puts a lip on there you can see where it grabs though depending on the grain kind of like if you ever used a router you go one way it's smooth the other way it wants to yank away from you this kind of does the same thing if you notice I switch the handle to the other side because when it's cutting when this is carving it wants to come into you this way and I think in my opinion is if the handle is here and you're here you've got a little more strength because it's carving toward you and you got more control. It seems like we we're able to take a little more shallow cut and not, uh, you know, have it cut more than we want. The handle's on the other side. You're fighting it to go away. And a lot of times, just from running chainsaws and grinders before, I feel like you don't have as much power when things want to pull away from you as compared to when things want to come at you. You're able to tense up and, and keep it away. So, if you guys have been watching for a while, you know I recently got the Arbor Tech Mini Carver. I also just got this Sabertooth wheel. This is their fine grit. And we're going to use this to finish up the inside. Now, I know this video is about the Arbor Tech ball gouge, but this is still an Arbor Tech tool. And uh, this will just be real quick. We'll clean it up in here, and then we're going to move into uh, carving a small bowl out of a piece of cherry. If you guys are enjoying this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe really appreciate you guys watching and uh, all the support you guys show also in the description like I said earlier all the links for even this Arbor Tech and all the tools we're using you'll be able to find through Amazon purchases there help support the channel Check it out, the Arbor Tech Mini Carver, saber tooth, fine grit, smoothed it out pretty good. The rest of it, you know, if you want any smoother, we'll just do it by hand. Like I said, if you guys stick around, we'll try to put this finished piece. We're not going to finish it in the whole video, but I'll try to get a photo of the finished piece up at the end of the video if you guys want to check that out. So right now, though, we're going to throw in a piece of cherry, just a chunk of log that I've got. We're going to put it in the vise and just kind of hone it out. Maybe later we'll lop the bottom off and make it nice and flat and we'll just have this log that's hollow for I don't know maybe like a candy dish or something so I just cleaned it up got all the bark off because it had some dirt in there and I don't want to kill dad's new cutting head on it so in there I think we're just gonna kind of carve a shape out like I said later we'll flatten the bottom so we can, uh, can use it as a dish so this is gonna be freehand there's nothing drawn on it so he's got a freehand this thing yeah baby. <laughs> good luck
bowl cut out here. We're gonna take the Arbor Tech Mini Carver with that saber tooth two inch round fine grit. I'd probably use the medium, but I've only got the fine. And uh, we're just gonna sand it up a little bit. Now this piece is still pretty green, so that might clog right up because it's the fine. They, the fine grits usually work really well on dry stuff. Like I said though, it's the only one I got right now. And uh, we'll sand it up and then I'll grab one of my saws and we'll, we'll make a nice flat bottom on this. And this little piece will be done. We'll have that nice live edge look to it. So you got just a small dish. You know, you guys could go ahead and lop the corners off if you wanted or sand it, but I think it's a pretty neat little half a log. Throw it on the counter or something. Even if you carved it more, maybe fit a candle in it as a decorative piece. All right, guys, so there it is. The Arbor Tech ball gouge on a Harbor Freight grinder. Also the Arbor Tech mini carver with a saber tooth disc. You guys will see this in a lot more videos with me carving as this one is mine and I'll be using it quite a bit more. Um, as dad carves more bowls and uses this more in the future, maybe we'll put some pictures up of some finished pieces that he gets done. But this is where we're at today. A couple bowls. We're actually gonna go in and finish this one up like I told you guys, so keep sticking around. You'll see this done at the end. I wanna thank you guys for watching though. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate that and I'll see you guys next time.